I'm Amy Robach and I work for ABC News. I'm the co-anchor of 2020. I think like most people, my cancer journey was wildly unexpected. I, at the time of my diagnosis, had no one in my family who had had breast cancer. So when Good Morning America asked me to have a live mammogram at the age of 40 to encourage women of my age to get their baseline mammogram, I really hesitated because I wasn't going to get mine until I was 50. I was doing it for another woman, for those other women never thinking that the first life I would save would be my own. It wasn't until the radiologist came in and said, is there someone who could be with you when I read you the results? And when she said that, I obviously knew what she was going to say next, that the mass we found in your right breast is malignant. When I did have the bilateral mastectomy, that is when Dr. Axelrod found the second tumor. I went through eight rounds of CMF chemo. Those were probably the hardest six months of the whole thing, just from an emotional, I get emotional now, a physical, um, just everything. You just can't believe you're sitting there in a chemo chair. Even when it was happening, it seemed surreal. The scars are something I'm proud of now and something that reminds me that life is precious. Look Good, Feel Better is such an important organization because it's exactly what women need at a time when they feel like they're at their worst. When your body is changing the way it's changing to fight for your life, you don't know how to look better. And so to have professionals come in and show you how you can look like your old self again and can show you how you can look to make you feel like your old self again, that's so important to have that feeling that, wow, I look like me again and maybe I will be me again someday soon. It gives you hope and it gives you joy at a time when you need those two things more than anything.